frustrated, lost in the maze, don't know where to go next? Well, let's talk about these issues because I've been there too. I know what it's like. You're working your way through maze and if you're lucky, you made it to room 45 pretty easily, but most of us don't get there that easily. So you can kind of break maze down into four different paths or categories. In fact, we'll call the first one the path. The path takes you from the entrance all the way to room 45 and you have to find your way back. That's as far as I have made it. I haven't made it all the way back yet. So besides the path, you also have a trap. And many of you guys have probably already come to this room. It's a room that you can't get out of. It's a room where there are no doors. So you're trapped there and you have to start over. Don't think of that as a failure. Think of that as a learning experience and something that you should note down so that you don't end up going there again. You also can end up on a loop and that loop will be a series of rooms that you can't get out of. You feel like you keep going to the same rooms over and over again. That means you're stuck on the loop and it's very complex. So it might take you a while before you realize it. That should also be noted down and you guys should do that on your notes. That should also be noted down and you guys should write that down on your circular maze map that you made. Write down which rooms lead you to the trap and which rooms lead you to the loop. Finally, once you've made it past all of those things, you've figured out how to avoid the loop, how to avoid the trap, and how to make it on the path from the first room to room 45 in the fewest steps possible, then you can start to look at the riddle and the riddle is going to be a series of images and texts that go from the first room all the way to the last room and I'm not really sure what the riddle is I've figured out maybe parts of it um, but I don't know if I'm correct or not remember don't try to look it up online that's cheating and that's no fun there's no fun in that so Work your way through it. This is not about getting to the end. That's not how you're earning a grade on this. In fact, this is going to be part of your final project for the year. I want you guys, there's a fly in here. That fly should fall into the trap. Looking it up online is cheating and it's just, it's, it's no fun. I mean, if you really need to know because you're living in a culture where you have to have things immediately and you feel like you have the sense of entitlement, then yeah, go for it. But don't share that with anybody else. Don't ruin it for anybody else because this is a fun journey and a fun path. Now, what you guys want to do is make sure that you're taking proper notes. I mean, I want to know where you've been, where you're going, what what troubles you're having and what paths you think are working and what parts of the riddle you think you're finding. All of this is going to be coming together into your final project for the semester, which is going to be to compile a set of notes, which I will give you guys instructions on later and on paper or online so that you guys can see what it looks like. I am using a notebook here. This is where I keep my calendar and I have a path here. I have a spot set up for the trap and a spot set up for the loop. And I also have a spot set up before all of this where I talk about the main rooms here that I've gone to and what I think is the right path and what I think the riddle is. So I'm writing it down and there could be many different possibilities that you guys are coming up with. So don't feel like you have to stick with one. There's a lot of different references in here. And so you might want to follow that kind of thread for a while. Maybe you're looking at the mythology or maybe you're looking at the symbolism in the rooms or maybe you're looking at something biblical in the rooms. Um, a couple of things that you guys might have seen yet. A lone apple tree in the middle of a room. That's kind of symbolic. Um, maybe the idea of the people in the rooms or the musical instruments in the rooms, the idea of the sounds that are coming from the rooms. All of these things could be part of the riddle. And I don't know. I don't know because I haven't finished it yet. Like I said, I've made it to 45. 45 reveals a big part of the riddle. 
uh, but I really don't know what it is yet. Now, I'm not doing this because I want you guys to tell me. In fact, I'm going to read your final notes for the end of the semester and then completely forget them so that I can continue to have fun with this. Fun fact, last year, well, 20 months ago now, when my daughter was born, I thought, hey, when I'm sitting around at home and she's sleeping, when she's an infant and I have nothing else to do, I'm gonna work my way through maze. Yeah, right, like that ever, ever happened. So um, I hope to have more time to do this in the future, maybe when I retire, so I will probably forget your notes by then. But do your best. It's not about finding the path. If it looks like you guys have looked online, and believe me, um, if you can find it online, I can find it online. So. Don't make your notes based on someone else's online. I've given you guys a really good template and you can use that. What I'm looking for is not a complete journey through the, through the maze or a completion from room one to 45 and back again. I'm looking for your kind of journey as you go through this. What do you experience and what do you see? And that's what I wanna see written down in a notebook of some sort or on a Google Doc, you can come up with something creative. Let's brainstorm some ideas over the next uh, week and a half that we have left in the semester. And this will be kind of your final project for the semester is making sure that I get your maze notes and your maze information. Oh, another thing, um, what I found out so far is that you can't go into rooms where you can't see the sign, such as some of the rooms, there's a doorway that does not have a sign and you can't go through there because you don't know where it's going. But there's at least one room where the sign isn't where it's supposed to be for the room. So I'll just leave you with that. All right, we will talk a couple of times this week online in our Zoom sessions. And remember that I want you guys to have fun with this. And when it comes to maze, really what I want you to do is get lost. See you later.